Here are some tips for single home buyers, how to make your dream a reality. Hello, my name is Johnny Jennings. I'm the team lead for Made For More here in Roseville, California. And I'm gonna share with you a few tips on things that you can do to increase the likelihood of your ability to purchase a home in the near future. So this is actually a big topic because currently about one in three purchasers, according to, I think it's Freddie Mac, states that um, one in three is a, is a single individual, like not like dual incomes. And that's, that's totally fine. So one in three home ownership is, at an, is, is doing very, very well. So feel, just know that upfront, that you're not alone, that one in three people are doing this and that yes, you can buy a house. So what do they do? Step number one is kind of, you gotta know your credit score. So if you know your credit score, you kind of have an idea where you are financially. Um, good credit score, you can talk to a lender. I'm not a lender. Like if you want some great lender suggestions, I know some of the best in the business, so feel free to reach out for those. But I would suggest talking to a lender and um, based on your credit score, that then determines what type of programs you qualify for. So if you know your credit score, what your lender can pull, it doesn't cost a thing, it's really easy, it doesn't like negatively, it's like a five point hit. It's a five point hit. So it's not, it's, it's a drop in the credit score bucket. So know your credit score and you know what programs you qualify for. A lot of families um, with more than one income can't qualify for programs because the dual income is too high. So there's a lot of assistance out there for single income families or just individuals. Okay, and the third thing is think about you not not only your your wants like we all, it's it's so fun to right we send out a dream home buyer form to all the people we work with and we re, we learn everything about them like down to minute details so that way we can help them find a home that fits their wants and their needs but really most importantly if if money's tight what you don't want to do is you don't want to wait because interest rates are going to go up and home prices are, are going to continue to go up it's I'm not I'm not a fortune teller but that's what all the key indicators are saying. So the last thing you want to do is hold out for the perfect home when you can find a home that's great for you or great for you and your family. The, the most important thing for you to do right now is to take action. Story I, I like to tell or analogy is think about holding a, so here I, I got a coffee cup. Think I'm going to hold it out in front of me. It's not that heavy. I can hold it out here for a while. But over time, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, it's going to get heavier and heavier and heavier. Eventually, I won't be able to hold it out in front of me any longer. So the longer you wait to take action, the heavier that, that action becomes. So don't hesitate. If you, want to, if you want to buy a house, there's still time before the end of the year. You can be a homeowner before 2022 rolls around. Reach out to myself or our team. We're always happy to help. Take care.